Hey everybody, welcome to History University. My name is Tom and I will be your educator for this video. Today, I want to share with you guys 10 fun facts about Theodore Roosevelt. I personally find him to be an extraordinary man and I wanted to bring up some interesting fun facts about TR that you may or may not know. Fun fact number one, Roosevelt was the first president to win a Nobel Peace Prize. As president, he adopted a foreign policy that would extend American influence on the world stage. His goal with this was to spread peace internationally. In 1906, he convinced Japan and Russia to attend a peace conference in Portsmouth, New Hampshire to end their conflict. The Portsmouth Treaty officially ended the Russo-Japanese War, and as a result, TR was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts. Fun fact number two, he is the youngest man to become president. Roosevelt took office as vice president in March 1901 and assumed presidency at the age of 42 after President McKinley was assassinated the following September. As a side note, JFK is the youngest president to be elected at 43, so it is common for people to say JFK was the youngest elected president, which is true, but Teddy wasn't elected to office. He took the role through the line of secession after the president was assassinated. Fun fact number three, Teddy Roosevelt was the first person to formalize the name White House. In 1901, Roosevelt officially named the executive mansion the White House. Before that, the White House had been called several names, including the President's House and the Executive Mansion. Roosevelt believed the name White House would distinguish it as an official residence of the President of the United States, and the name has stuck ever since. Fun fact number four, he used to box during his presidency. As a young man, Roosevelt boxed at Harvard University's intramural lightweight championship. He would continue to spar recreationally during his political career. He often fought against former professional boxers, until a punch from a young artillery officer smashed a blood vessel and left him nearly blind in his left eye. Teddy decided to calm down with the boxing after that incident. Fun fact number five, he basically had a personal zoo when he was in the White House. Roosevelt's White House featured numerous dogs, rabbits, and horses. The president also kept snakes, flying squirrels, chickens, bears, a lion, a zebra, and what he described as a friendly and affectionate rat. Fun fact number six, Teddy gave a speech after being shot in an assassination attempt. On October 14, 1912, the former president was giving a speech in Milwaukee and announced that he had just been shot by an assassin. A shocked crowd looked on as Roosevelt revealed a bloody shirt and a stack of paper with a bullet hole in them. Roosevelt spoke for 90 minutes before letting his aides take him to the hospital. The bullet lodged itself near his rib and it would stay there for the rest of his life. Fun fact number seven, he loved nature. Roosevelt set aside more federal land for national parks and natural reserves than any of his predecessors did combined. Roosevelt established the United States Forest Service and signed into law the creation of five national parks. During his tenure as president, he would set aside about 200 million acres of land for reserves, wildlife refuge, and national forests. Fun fact number eight, he volunteered to lead an infantry unit in World War I. At the outbreak of World War I, the 58-year-old ex-president was eager to return to the front lines. Roosevelt lobbied President Woodrow Wilson to send him into France and head a 200,000-man expeditionary force. But Roosevelt would not get called to fight in the war that would eventually take his son's life, Quinton. Fun fact number nine, he's responsible for the term teddy bear. While on a hunting trip as president, his guides in Mississippi had arranged for him to shoot an old bear that had been tied to a tree. Teddy refused to shoot the bear because he felt like it was unsportsmanlike. The news of this event spread quickly through newspaper articles across the country. Clifford Berryman, a political cartoonist, mocked Teddy's refusal in a cartoon. Morris Mitchum, a Brooklyn candy shop owner, saw the cartoon and had the idea to sell stuffed bears and name them Teddy's Bear. Mitchum then received permission from Roosevelt to make the stuffed animal, which he decided to mass produce. So the origins of the word Teddy Bear can be traced back to Roosevelt's permission to Mitchum to use the word Teddy's Bear on his stuffed animal. Fun fact number 10, TR was a skilled author. Roosevelt wrote over 30 books in his lifetime and an estimated 150,000 letters. He even wrote his own autobiography. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you can comment down below which historical figure you want to learn more fun fox about uh, so I'd have a better idea of who to make videos on, uh, please do. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all have a good day.